Hey y'all, I'm Ashley and this is Ashley's Closet. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome, glad to have you. So today I have got a show and tell. Um, it is on a couple of items that I ordered from a new company to me. Um, Saddleback Leather Company is the brand. And so I just wanted to share with y'all what I got. I got them in the mail yesterday. Um, and I'm, there's a lot that I want to say in this video. So I made some notes so that I don't forget anything. Um, I just have a lot that I want to say about the company. Um, so the company that I got is the front pocket satchel and I think it is formerly known as the tablet satchel or the tablet bag. They have four main colors that they offer that are black, dark coffee brown, chestnut, or tobacco. Now, I originally ordered the tobacco and, okay, so I ordered, I placed my order on Saturday, July the 3rd. And I figured for Monday, July the 5th, they would be closed since they're a smaller company. Um, and so um, Monday came, Tuesday came, Wednesday came, Thursday came, and I still hadn't heard anything. And I thought, gosh, I wonder, I mean, it's been a good couple of days. And I knew that they said the orders are typically processed within one or two days. So I called and I um, got a sweet lady um, named Miss Patty. Shout out to you, Miss Patty, if you're watching. Thank you for all of your help. Um, something happened. There was a glitch with their system. My order got deleted, and so we basically had to start over. The bad news is that by then, the one, I guess, item or bag that they had left had been sold. So somebody else got my bag. Now, I typically would not have ever ordered the chestnut if I had more than one option, especially a lighter option. Y'all know that I typically gravitate towards the lighter to mid-tone browns. Um, so tobacco is what I originally ordered. Um, chestnut is what I got. So um, let me go ahead and show it to you and then I'll kind of go over the dimensions. Um, <clears throat> and then just kind of give pros and cons and my thoughts and whatnot. Okay. Here's the bag. The dimensions are 11 in width, 8.5 in height. And this is from their website. And then they say it's two and a half in depth. My dimensions are 11, eight and a half, and then just a little over three. So those were mine. And I do not have it stuffed full. There are several other reviews of this bag on YouTube, um, but there's not one, I don't believe, in Chestnut. They are, I think the ones that I've seen are all in dark coffee. I think there's two or either three of them, but there's not one in chestnut. So I thought I would do one in chestnut. Um, okay, so this is a real buckle. It's not a snap. And it's already relatively easy to get in and out of. I think once I get it broken, it'll be even better. Um, <clears throat> but you open it up and you've got this flap right here which is a pocket and I'm going to, I'm going to pull everything out so I can really show you the bag. And then you have the, um, there's a slip pocket behind the front pocket and then you have the main interior of the bag. Um, and then on the back side, you've got a slip pocket. That's the whole length and width of the bag. One change that I would like to note that, um, is on this bag that is not on the other YouTube videos of this bag. <clears throat> Two notable changes. Um, evidently, people were writing in asking him to extend the front pocket width. It, it was not originally the full length of the bag. It stopped a little shorter um, on the side, so it wasn't the full length. They um, widened it. And then the other 
notable change is the hooks right here were initially on the back side and then they changed them to the sides, which I think was for the better. I would have preferred that. Front pocket, I don't really care because I'm either going to put my phone or my little credit card wallet in the front pocket, so that really wouldn't have phased me either way. Um, but anyways, let me pull out what I've got in here to show you. In this front, um, in the front pocket, I've got my Portland Leather Goods wallet or card holder, and that's all I've got in it. I don't have anything in the very back slip pocket, and I don't have anything in the slip pocket behind the front pocket. In the main compartment, I've got my glasses case that y'all have all seen. I'm filming in a different place because my husband's home and he's not outside, it's too hot here to be outside right now. Um, and then I've got a couple of pouches that I'm also gonna review that I got, and then I've got a medicine bottle in here. Okay, so now I can, and I'm gonna, if you don't mind, take off the strap so that I can more easily maneuver through the bag. Ah, oh, much better. Okay, so as I said, it's the buckle, easy, easy in and out. It is lined with pigskin. Um, it's like a brushed or a suede pigskin. Now, from what I understand on some of the older bags, it was more, it wasn't a suede pigskin. It was more like a, if you spill something on it, you can wipe it type of a pigskin, like a coated pigskin maybe. Um, but this is definitely the suede pigskin and it, it smells so good, y'all. It smells every bit as good as a Florentine bag. Um, okay, so here's the main compartment, and there's nothing in it, just one big open space. And then you can also see the slip pocket behind the front pocket. I hope you can see that. And then you've got inside of the, the front slip pocket. So there are no like inner pockets, inner zips, nothing. Um, unless you were like toting books around and tablets in this bag, you really need pouches, inner pouches. Um, this is not one of those just throw everything in there loose bags. This is not one of those bags to shove like a water bottle, even a small in, it's just not. Um, this is, and I'm sure, this is gonna soften up after I've you know, gotten it good and broke in, but this is not one of those, you can throw odd random shaped things in, into this bag. It's just, it's not gonna work. Um, and from what I can tell, this is one of the smaller sized bags that they offer, which is perfect for me because I really don't carry a lot, not right now. One thing that I really um, like about this bag, and I don't know if you can see it, is Dave Munson, the president or owner of the company, had a black lab named Blue. And so he has immortalized the Blue by etching Blue, a picture of Blue right here. But anyways, uh, um, I really like it. The leather is really nice. Um, it's not like a brushed feeling leather like they say some of the tobacco is but it doesn't really feel like it would scratch easily either, like a Florentine chestnut maybe. So I am eager to see how this baby breaks in and wears, oh, and here's the back slip pocket. But you can see just how thick this leather is. I mean, that is some thick, thick leather, which leads me to my pros and cons of this bag. Okay, um, so again, this is the saddle bag from Pocket Satchel. I've already went over the dimensions. It retails for $249. And this is in the color chestnut. My personal pros are, of course, it's full grain leather. Their full grain leather is thick, meaty, and it smells divine. Um, it's very, very sturdy. The hardware that they use is also, no lie, the sturdiest hardware I have ever had on a bag. I thought Dooney and Burke had good hardware. I thought the Coach 1941 bags had good hardware. They ain't got nothing on this hardware. 
This hardware is heavy. It is heavy duty. Um, it is 316 medical grade stainless steel is what it is. Um, they also use marine grade polyester thread, which is also used for parachutes. Um, and then of course the inside is pigskin, which is really tough. It's even tougher than cow hide. Um, those are some of my pros. Uh, another pro for me is the hides that they use are from the North America beef industry and they are made in Leon, Mexico. For the, those of you that don't know, Leon is kind of the leather capital. Um, they also own their own factory there in Leon. The company itself, this is both Saddleback and Love 41, are both faith and mission minded, which I really appreciate. Um, they also offer military and first responder discounts. I believe it was 10% and we did get it since my husband is a game warden. Uh, let's see, cons. And, and this is kind of the, a flip side to one of, to the coin. Because it's a good quality leather and it's a good quality hardware that they use, they are heavy, extremely heavy. Now, I believe the website said that this bag weighs three pounds. I actually meant to weigh it before filming and I forgot. I don't know, it might be more like two, two pounds, but it is heavy. That's the first thing my husband said after I loaded it up. He picked it up and he said, that's heavy. I was like, yeah. But I mean, it's what you get. It's, you, you're getting what you pay for with this company. You truly are getting what you pay for. Um, okay, the only other con that I have is this, and I'm gonna show you on the strap. Because these bags are made for both men and women, they have taken the height. If I remember correctly, Dave is a relatively tall man maybe 6'3 or 6'4. So therefore, you get lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of holes to choose your length on your bag. So much length in fact that, and I'm tall, y'all know I'm 5'7, I'm an American size 12, I'm curvy, okay? I'm always on the very last, the very longest. I ain't nowhere near it. This is what I've had to do. And the one, one thing that I don't like is they have, um, this is in place. So you can't sh um, slide this loop. It's mobile, it's not stationary. I can't slide it. So I've got this much tail left. And it's so long in fact that it covers the hook the dog leash. So what I've had to do is tuck it. I don't know if there is someone that I could take the strap to, to maybe have that cut off um, or what, I don't know. I mean, so far it doesn't really bother me, but I mean, I've only had it for a day, so. Um, but that's, that's another con for me. And another pro though is it, it came with the shoulder pad. And look how thick just the shoulder pad alone is. And the strap, so very thick. This is the thickest leather I have ever had. No lie, the thickest. Okay. I'm not going, I was going to, but I'm not. I'm not gonna review these pouches. There's another one. Um, Part of the reason is because I want today to be on the bag only. The other reason is I don't have the third one with me. It's at another part of the house. Um, so I will do those another day. I also ordered a wallet for my husband uh, in dark coffee brown. So that's a color comparison I'll be able to do for anybody interested. Um, but what I want to do is I want to put everything back in here and then I'm gonna take a step back and I'm gonna try it on so that you can see what it looks like on me, on my frame. Now, um, Danae, the perfect leather bag is her handle, has done a review on this bag and 
I think we're probably about the same size as far as like um, the clothes that we wear go, but I think I'm probably a little taller than her. So I'll go ahead and, and let you see what this looks like on me. I may cut my, cut my head off, but wore white pants to work today. It's comfortable, it's gonna have to be broken in, but it's comfortable. And again, on the side. But I think it's a good size, and it will hold more. I can put my phone in here, which I'm recording on it, and um, like a small umbrella. But it's easy to get into, and like I said, I think it'll be even more easy to get into after I've gotten it, you know, good and broke in. You can leave it open. You don't have to close it. Um, another thing that I really liked about this bag that I found really appealing is that it has the top handle. I've really gotten on crossbody bags. If it doesn't have a top handle, I don't want anything to do with it. It's just awkward grabbing it. And so that's another new thing that I'm looking for in crossbody bags. It needs to have a top handle. So that is that. Um, if you have any questions or you know whatever, leave them in the comment section below and I will happily um, answer if any, anybody has any. And I will do the Love 41 pouch set and I will do the Saddleback wallet that I got from my husband um, coming up soon. And um, I just, you know, I hope this video helps somebody. The other videos related to this bag are older. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time in Ashley's Closet. Bye y'all.